Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am super excited. Today I get to say a different group name. So welcome to the Busy Moms Fitness, Nutrition, Mindset, and Accountability Group. So formerly known as the Get Fit With Me, Expanding Your Physical and Mental Fitness Group. You are going to see in the next two weeks, so the week of January 23rd, I'm going to be posting about this group a little bit more on my personal profile and letting people know that this group is going to kind of shift its structure a little bit and who it's targeting. So right now we've got a lot of people in here and I love that everybody is in here, but I want to give you all a heads up that come that January 23rd, if you are in the group already, you're more than welcome to stay. I'm still going to be teaching fitness, nutrition, mindset, and accountability. But you will find that some of my messaging and how I am speaking is going to target busy moms a little bit more than just the general population. The group is still for everyone. So if you know someone or you know a busy mom who would like to be in this group, who would like to learn either about fitness, nutrition, mindset, accountability, habits, routines, physical and mental weight loss, whatever it may be, if you think they'd like to join the group, invite them in. The week of January 23rd, you're going to see me go into what I kind of call a relaunch. So when this group opened, I did three days in a row of go, kind of going through what to expect in this group. So you guys will see that in a few weeks. It's going to look a little bit different. You'll get a few more emails, but bear with me. That's the only week I will be doing that. So I'm super excited for today's topic. We're going to be talking about just one thing, and it's actually very fitting because we are going to be talking about just one thing, but I also want you to think about it's the new year. We're technically in, I believe it's week two. I don't even know. Uh, it's the 12th. So we're in week two, just about to finish. How many of you set goals for this year? How many of you set expectations of what you want to achieve this year and the actions that you have to take to achieve that? How are those actions going? Are you someone who said, I'm going to lose 10 pounds this year and I'm going to change my diet. I'm going to exercise. I'm going to change all of all these things. And already on day 12, you're like, crap. Okay, I'm back to my old self. I haven't seen any improvements. Change takes time. Routines and habits take time. They take more than 12 days. But one of the biggest things I have found is when we take on more than just one thing, our likelihood of succeeding goes down. When we focus on just that one, we can become successful. We can become consistent. And once we become successful and consistent, we can then add that next thing that's then going to trickle or it's going to be kind of, uh, oh, what was the analogy I just learned? Like a rock fall. So the rock's going to start rolling down the hill and you're not going to be able to stop it in a good way. So if you are watching this and you are new to the group or you're someone who's been here for a while, remember you get the most out of these calls by clicking that little Zoom link above me in Facebook. Um, when you jump into the Zoom room and you're in the conversation, you get one-on-one -on -one coaching for free. Every single Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern, I go live in this group. Sometimes there is a big group of us on here. Sometimes it's just me. Sometimes we go for a whole hour and sometimes we're just going 20 to 30 minutes. The biggest thing that I like this, this group to create is a sense of community, a sense that you can connect with somebody in this group and understand that you're not alone in these struggles and these challenges that you're feeling. Like you're not the only one going through weight loss. You are not the only one trying to balance fitting in your workouts, but also taking care of the kids and running the house and getting work done. You are not alone. So this group is a community for you to feel safe and for you to feel like you are not the only person going through this. So in this group is specifically, it's going to be changing. Like I said, um, you're gonna hear this a little bit more over the next couple of weeks, but a lot of my trainings, they are going to work for everybody because the concept is the same. Picking just one thing works for moms, works for dads, works for busy professionals. It works for everybody, but you're gonna hear me talk specifically to moms. And this group is specifically for busy moms who are looking to shed physical and mental weight while adding intentional movement to their lives to prevent aches and pains while gaining physical and mental strength. Busy moms who are looking to create a balanced diet without having to count calories or macros while being held accountable to create a lifestyle they want for them, for them and their families. So 
One of the main things that makes this group different and that makes me different is the accountability aspect. I work with another coach um, in a business world. She's a business coach and I am also a coach with her and I'm the accountability coach. I'm going to follow up with you, whether it's on a free call and you say, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna follow up with you and see if you actually did it or whether you were a paid client. I am going to follow up because that accountability aspect and knowing that somebody is there to listen and look out for you, that right there is what's going to get you to keep doing it. It's going to help you be consistent. So I want to know if you are here watching on Facebook, because I know not everyone can join uh, in the Zoom room. If you're here on Facebook watching, drop a hashtag live if you are here now. And if you're watching the replay either later today or in a few weeks, drop hashtag replay and let me know that you're here. These videos, these chats, these comments live on. So participate as we go. Today's training is going to be just a quick 30 minutes, um, if not a little less, for a few reasons. Reason number one, we're talking about just one thing. So if we're talking about just one thing, we shouldn't have to talk for a whole hour on just one thing. The other aspect, is, or the other reason I should say, is I'm speaking on a podcast and I have to transition to that when I'm done off of here. So I am super excited. Just one thing. As we move into January, today is January 12th. I like to think of goals. I've kind of changed how I look at goals and how I change, how I move forward with things and stay accountable. One of the biggest things that I've learned through my studies, through working with clients and through working with myself is that when we take on more than we can handle, we become overwhelmed and we become that deer in the headlights. And often we don't feel like what we've taken on or what we've committed to is too much until we start to implement. So in my head, I can say, I'm gonna change my diet. I'm gonna start exercising. I'm gonna change my evening routine. I'm gonna drink a lot of water. When I kind of see that on paper, it doesn't seem too bad. It's, really it's four things. But if I start to change all four areas of my life at once, and I'm not grounded to anything that I know, what that's going to do is it's going to create that overwhelm. And all of a sudden, I'm not going to hit my water and I'm going to feel like a failure, even though I'm still hitting those other three. Or maybe you're only hitting your water and you're not exercising. You're not eating correct. You're not eating to fuel your body. And maybe you haven't changed your evening routine, but you're going to feel like you're not doing well because we have overcommitted. And if we can't feel like we're checking all the boxes every day, internally, we feel like we, I'm just, I'm a failure. I can't do it. I can't do it. And we become in that cycle where we revert back to some sort of quick fix diet, something that only lasts 30 days, or we just revert to our bad habits and say, I'll just wait till life gets less busy. If you get one thing out of today's call, I want you to get that life is always gonna be busy. Life is always gonna be overwhelming. There's gonna be transitions in the year. There's gonna be breaks. There's gonna be spring break, summer break. There's gonna be holidays. There's gonna be 4th of July. There's going to be things every single year that pop up. And we can get caught in the, it's busy. I'm waiting for time to slow down. But if we just start with one single thing right there and we get consistent with that, we can start to see that boulder, roll down that hill and hit that next thing you wanna be consistent at. And then that next thing. So like I mentioned, I like to look at goals as what is our one year goal? So what is a goal we wanna hit at the end of the year? If we can, if we know what that one year goal is, we then wanna kind of work backwards. Hello. We then want to work backwards from what that one year goal is and what is one action that we have to start doing today to get us to that one year goal. So for instance, if your one year goal is to, I want to be able to lift X amount of weight. Well, how much weight are we currently lifting? And do we have a program or a uh, system in place to help us work up to that hundred pounds we want to reach at the end of the year? If right now we're at five pounds and all of a sudden we're like, I'm just gonna go to that 100, we're gonna end up with injuries. Same thing goes for weight loss. So weight loss, there's a lot of different components that go into weight loss and that also go into weight gain. 
So if you're someone who wants to gain weight, so thinking through, I have to look at my diet, I have to look at my exercise, I have to look at my sleep routine, I have to look at my water. There's all these aspects that come in, but we can't start with all of them. Because if we start with all, we don't do any of them. So think through what one of those actions can you take on and do every single day? A really easy one that I find is nice for people is the water. Water is one that people seem like I can always, I can get that down pretty easy because it doesn't involve extra time out of my day. It doesn't involve extra prep. I can kind of take it with me. It's more, it's a little bit more flexible, I find, when I work with people with water. When we talk about breaking down a routine, let's change your bedtime routine, it's a lot, it's a little bit messier. So I want you to start thinking of what is that one year end goal? What is that goal that you have at the end of the year that you want to accomplish? Is it eventually getting to consistently working out three days a week? Is it, I want to run a 5K? Is it, I want to lose X amount of weight? Is it, I want to gain X amount? I want to lift an X amount. I want to consistently be doing 10,000 steps every single day. Think about what that big goal is. And then what is that one first action that we can start today not next Monday, not when life becomes less busy, that we can start today that's gonna help create that consistency every single day. And then after we've hit kind of that 60, 30 to really 30 to 90 day bark, depending on how consistent you've been, we can then add that next action on. So we've got Tara on with us. Hello, are you able to talk? I know you are driving, so. <laughs> Yes, I just love time with Morgan. So I wanted to dial in and hear what the conversation was about. And I love what it's about because it reminded me um, to stay present to my water and to really be consistent with that. And um, I just love the inquiry of like, what do I want to take on? Like, what would I like to see in a year from now? So I love it. I love it. And if you have something in mind that you want to see, I would love to hear. But if you kind of need some time to think about it, feel free to either shoot me a message or drop it in the Facebook comments later on, kind of once you've kind of thought about it on what you want. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm playing with the idea of like a level of physical fitness that is really like where my strength is really like top of the game. Um, and I don't have like a, a measurement indicator of that, but I think that um, I already work out a lot for a good amount, but I would love to just have um, a little more balance with my stretching and my running and kind of have my diet like taken to the next level where I'm consuming less sugar and more whole foods um, as like my like fillers. So I think that that would show up in just like a level of fitness that was um, just kind of nothing that I've ever seen before. So like surpass like my goals of where I am, what I've ever known myself to be in a new level of my fitness. I love it. And I love That's that you mentioned water right here is that focus today because you're right. Dialing in that nutrition. Yeah. And if you were to cut out sugar today completely, you and I've been together enough. We know that doesn't end well when you cut something out cold turkey for <laughs> anybody. <laughs> yeah. But it's knowing that water is that step today. And you're going to get consistent with that water and then after that we look at okay we want to reduce our sugar intake what foods are we consuming is it actual sugar is it refined is it white bread like where is that sugar coming from and how can we manage that in a way that allows our body to kind of transition rather than cold turkey i love it morgan i love it because it's just so classic to be like, and today's the day I'm not eating sugar. And like, that's going to lead to me, you know, craving chocolate at some point and being like, well, so much for that. Right. So I love how you're just being like, okay, let's focus on what are the doable wins that I know I can build on. And then let's actually look at getting clear of what am I saying matters. And then what is that? What are steps I'm taking toward that rather than just like this all or nothing. So I really love it. Thanks. Absolutely. And exactly, it's finding those steps that are going to take you to that next level, because if we go from the biggest thing that I also see is we don't recognize where we currently are. 
so often we create this goal and we just jump into it without recognizing where we are or what we're actually doing. I have people who we start talking, they're like, I want to start working out five days a week. I'm like, awesome. How many are you currently? Oh, I haven't worked out in 10 years. Okay, let's start with that one day and then let's build or let's start with just 10 minutes a day. Because exactly, if we say today's the day and that doesn't happen, that failure cycle will set it and we'll be like, well, I did it again. Okay, now I have to start over. Now I have to get back on the bandwagon, whatever that is. So when we think of our goal, we also have to think about where we currently are. So maybe your goal is water, like I mentioned, and you're currently only drinking 10 ounces of water, but your goal is 90 ounces. You're not gonna jump from 10 to 90. You're gonna jump from 10 to 20. You're gonna jump up by 10 ounces or even five ounces. So remembering that these little climbs are little. They're li one little thing that you are gonna do every single day and build. And you also have to track this. So when you have that one little thing, you wanna think about it as a very black and white. Can you look at yourself at the end of the day and said, I drank my water or I didn't. Often we create this kind of gray area of, well, I kind of did it. We wanna be very like, did I do it or did I not? And we use a really cool app called My Coach. Um, and I'm gonna share what that looks like. I actually took a screenshot of what mine. Um, and so I, this is mine. I have, I, we all start, everybody I work with starts with just one task. So the commit to your health program, we actually just ended and everybody had their one commitment that they had to complete every single day. I've been using this for a while. So I've been able to start stacking my tasks. So every single day, my first one was water. I conquered my water. So now I, so then I added on my steps. After my steps, I went on to movement. The other thing that I'm really trying to work on this year is I love a glass of wine at the end of the day, but I know in the long run that doesn't always help your health. So I have at the start of my week, I choose what days I'm going to commit to alcohol or no alcohol. And what happens is I will click on this and it will say done or not done. And it's a very black and white way for me to click and say I did it or I didn't. And it will show my streak. How successful have I been? And I love it because I need the data of what, of looking and seeing what have I actually done? How successful am I actually being? Because sometimes we think we're doing really well and then we start talking through this with someone else and we realize, oh, I'm really not doing what I, what I thought I was gonna do. Tracking is super important. But I know we're talking about just that one thing. So, Taking on tracking, taking on goal set, taking on all these things is a step. So the first step today and the one and only thing I want you to do is think about what is that goal that you want to achieve at the end of the year? Once you've accomplished that one step, you're then going to look at where are you currently? Where are you currently in the process of that goal? Once you've completed that one thing, you will then choose what that one action that you're going to do every single day is. And we break it up into just one action at a time, because if I were to give you this worksheet and say, go fill it out and do it right now. We would all look at it and say, that's a lot of work. I don't have I don't have time to sit down and commit to that. And it wouldn't happen. I, I get it. I'm in a course right now and I got behind because I was on a cruise and I'm feeling the same way. But I have that accountability check in from the coach to say, Hey, Morgan, you said you were determined to get this complete. What day are you doing this? It takes 10 minutes. What day are you watching that? Awesome. I even need that accountability coach for things non-fitness wise, because there is things and life gets in the way and busyness happens. So it's really important to really break it down into when are you going to sit down and create that year end goal? Awesome. Once you have, send me a message. Let me know what it is. Then we'll figure out where are you currently? Send me a message and we'll go from there. Then from there, we have that action that you are going to start implementing just that one action. We're not going to implement it all, just that one. So with that being the case, we are, we are getting to the end here and I wanted to keep this short and sweet today. I would love to know takeaways, insights, things that stuck to you like glue, maybe even those light bulb moments that 
kind of showed up for you within the last 20 ish minutes. Because anytime I teach this training, we teach it a little bit differently, but the concept is the same. We overcomplicate things as humans. We make things way too complicated and way too over the top. Keep it simple. Keep it simple and keep it to that one thing. Get successful with that one thing. Feel good about completing that one thing. And then all of a sudden that boulder will start to roll down that hill and you'll collect the next one thing. And then the next one thing. And I'm realizing that analogy is not very good because the boulder is going down the hill and we want to go up the hill. Um, <laughs> I'll find a better analogy, but that that's what was in my head earlier today. I listened to it from someone else. I was like, oh, I like that. We're going to use that. Um, Tara said, I love the reminder to focus on one thing and start small, then build on success. Absolutely. Well, Tara, thank you so much for jumping on today. I loved seeing your face. I know I get to see you on Mondays, but I also, um, I also love when I get to see you extra in the week. <laughs> Yay, me too. Thank you, Morgan. Awesome session. You are welcome. I will see you all next week. If you have any questions along the way, remember, drop in the comments or shoot me a message once you've decided on your goal for the year. And then we will move on to looking at where we currently are and kind of move through that stuff together. I will see you all later. Have a great day. Bye.